my favorite George Keating quote is probably, what is slay? I think Groovy's a good one. Um, um, what is slay? What? Someone said something and George goes, now that's the cherub's way. My favorite George phrase is darling. My favorite bit is fly me to the moon. <laughs> when we asked George in one of the meetings to sing fly me to the moon. So Fly Me to the Moon is an amazing song that's been absolutely ruined for me. <laughs> but I also am particularly quite a fan of My Michael. Probably Don't Be a Jerk. Right. Oh, when we like go to Rachel Lauper every day after yes. rehearsal and yell her name yes. when she's giving out mail. Groovy. <laughs> Someone's made another trip around the sun. That's a good My favorite George quote, I mean, I'm just, I just love Good Emily and mm -hmm. Darling. Just Kind of like mine. Um, yeah, where I did the whole thing. Emma and Audrey go, Mom! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> it's very funny. I love it. Um, so my favorite bit is, um, oh, are you coming with me? Am I <laughs> and, <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> and my favorite George quote um, has to be, here's what. <laughs> Number one is the stickler. <laughs> I, I, I'm renowned. <laughs> Character and little gremlin who, um, yeah, I won't. Do a demonstration! No, 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 no. <laughs> I need to get out of here. Commit to the bit! Oh, physicality. <laughs> Something smells! It's a little stinky in here! I'm the stinky! <laughs> okay. And Crow? Crow? Crow was where Justin and I, at certain points of the day, would just go, ah! And then be like, where's the. Yo! Where's the crow at? Favorite George phrase is someone's ma made another trip around the sun. Iconic. I got it. Or good shows. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite bit from the summer was Das Stinkler. Someone's made another trip around the sun. <laughs> no Biba. No Biba. I will take so much with me from Terrace. Um I will take the clothing I bought at Crossroads. So um, and I will take so many amazing new friends and connections and skills and thoughts about what I want to do. I will take a lot of new friends with me. So true. For so taking me. Um, a ton of awesome people. Oh. Oh. Physically or emotionally? Physically, I'm okay. I'm taking everyone. With me. Well, I'm gonna take with me from Cherubs is Josie Ann Ranieri in my suitcase. She will be coming back with me to Chicago. Um, you're getting in the suitcase. Also, I'm stealing all of George Keating's projection masks. If they go missing in a few days, that's why. But don't tell them I said that. Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to take back a lot of n Northwestern merch. Um, second of all, I think I just have like a greater sense of like how big the world is. And I keep saying this, but like I'm from a very small town. And, oh my god. <laughs> Sup, bitches. Oh my god, thank you. Um, bye, bitches. <laughs> so um, my, my clothes have been returned and I feel like my horizons are just like broadening by the day <laughs> and hope is looking at me <laughs> hey i'm i you want your, your horizons are broadening by the day <laughs> oh my god <laughs> hey i'm tr i'm trying to be a fat ass no, so, so please <laughs> don't literally I'm not what i'm taking with me is the obscene amount of clothes from crossroads that i bought and also um, Charlotte's Kiss. Oh my god, did you know Bosco? <laughs> oh my god, clearly so much. Not a souvenir. <laughs> it's a baby. They told us not to get pregnant. A new sense of self, which is so annoying to say, but I have just, like, the idea of just being comfortable living in the present, I think is what I'm taking with me. Learning. I took all the programs from each of the shows, so that's what I'm going to be taking. I have all all six of them. I'll also be taking knowledge. Erica's warm up because she's sending me the video, and I will be doing it every morning. Memories that I've made with people, especially listening to this song. I've listened to this song every day for the past three weeks. Um, but yeah, just like building community and shows.
like literally everyone like I'm gonna miss people and it's so crazy to think that like everyone is from like different parts of like the states or like different parts of the world because everyone's like international too so it's just like I'm gonna miss like oh. <laughs> I'm gonna miss just like everyone and just like walking with people and like I'm from here um, I'm like 30 minutes away from Northwestern so like if I ever pass Northwestern I'm gonna always like see it like differently now because I'm just gonna think I'm trapped. I would take um, all my friends all like everywhere like I would take everything and everything I learned I'll take you know breathing <laughs> I'll take so much breathing with me from Jared. All the friends that I knew. Mm, this is so bad. The memories, specifically the first night we did You on the Morris Now. At the end of the show, we all like ran backstage like through the bombs and just like bear hugged each other and we're like screaming and like, we did it guys! And like <laughs> that, like I'm gonna think about that moment for the rest of my life. Um, I would say there was this really cute moment in the Lost Girls cast um, where it was before our last show and we were all like backstage and we all huddled in a circle and we were saying things that we loved about each other and it was really cute. I'm a lot more open to do things outside of my comfort zone and I usually have fun doing it too so it like, makes everything better. <laughs> um, more friends. Okay, um, <laughs> Charlie. More confidence in my abilities and talents. A new <laughs> definition of masculine. Oh my. A pair of jeans for my costume, some patches, <laughs> cool. and some very good relationships. I'm less scared to like make a fool of myself, like embarrass myself. And I never would have done half of the shit I have done like in week five on week one. I've changed just because like I've kind of learned how to put like my entire self into the character. The more reality of doing and like realizing what it is to be an actor. I just think like acting as a art form I've come to understand. More. I think I've learned to be less critical of myself and others, but mostly myself, um, and kind of like it disregarding any critiques I have and just kind of going for it. Yeah, so awesome. much. There's so many like skills that I've <laughs> learned that I've been able to take away here. Maybe. That have helped me become a better person. Yeah. Oh my god. So many ways. As an actor, mainly. As a person, I think. Um, as a performer, it really is <laughs> probably going to change my whole life. Actually, I do think it has changed my whole life. My outlook on things. Yeah, and my. Um, experience with theater. My sense of humor has definitely gone better because everybody here is so fucking funny. And I think my acting has grown a little bit too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've definitely grown a lot. <laughs> yeah, I've grown. I think I've grown. <laughs> um, I feel ready to take on the world. I'm so excited for college now. That's one That's one thing that's grown. I used to be scared for college, and now I'm like so ready. And so I feel like I've grown as an actor a lot. Yeah. As a cherub, I cherub. grew by becoming much more confident and uh. willing to take risks. Mm. And I became a better actor so in, in the process. You're so true. Um, and like, it was in the best show ever. Yeah, I actually think I got an inch taller, which is really fun. Yeah, bitch. Um, And I think I'm gonna grow as an actor, but also as a person. I feel like I became a lot more independent because of this program. And I'm just, I feel like I'm a little bit of a changed woman now. Oh. I feel like I am now more experimental. It's gonna get and I know yeah. what I want to major more in in college. I don't know, I think it's like more sure of myself as an actor and like more aware of what I want to do. Mm -hmm. My acting has gotten like so much more grounded and just like in general, I feel like a more grounded person. Um, I've My sense of humor has developed so much here because everyone's really funny, so then that makes me more funny. Um, and I've just also become like more comfortable moving in my body, which I think was a really important step for me. I feel like I can act, like my acting style is probably the same, but I feel like I could like deliver lines more naturally now. I feel like it doesn't have to, 
I'm getting interviewed. <laughs> Probably just like acting more naturally and delivering lines just Julia. delivering lines That's more so efficiently. Right. You know, the delivery is very important. I can do Suzuki now. We'll do this real quickly. Congrats on closing. Do you have any questions, comments, or concerns? No, I'm great. Great. How are your symptoms? COVID-wise? Just being awesome. All right, you're free to go. Yay! Layla always leaves us early because she has <laughs> other friends. Have a good night of doing whatever this activity is. Um, no thanks. Cherubs. Advice to cherubs? Yeah. Go up there and do nothing because <laughs> I got a shitty role. And I worked on my yeah, monologue. And I worked on my monologue for like two weeks, so it doesn't matter. It wasn't an audition. It's not an audition. He's it doesn't very matter. Talented. At all. He does amazing. <laughs> oh my god! Monologue day. In these, these very seats. seats. In these, very In these seats. Ver ver I was sitting. I think here, maybe. <laughs> I actually was sitting like maybe right there. Yeah, it's a long day, but I. It feels like it was years ago. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it does. It, yes, <laughs> they get it. They get it. Um, <laughs> but you'll get through it. It'll be it'll be over soon enough. You just have to course. sit for hours and hours. I was so fucking nervous, um, and I also was like really worried because I thought I would get really bored having to watch all the monologues. But it was low key really like entertaining. I love watching everyone's. And once you did it, like you're done, and no one even remembers it. If you're watching this in your future chair, if this gets put somewhere, um, literally no one remembers monologue day. So just like. No one's gonna remember it. Also, I met one of my best friends on Monologue Day. I met Emma on Monologue Day. So Monologue Day is full of magic. You know, it was like 50 hours long. <laughs> um, I don't remember any of them. Uh, probably the most nervous I've ever felt in my life for absolutely no reason, and it was worthless. I specifically remember praying. I was like, don't call the 50s, don't call the 50s. And then George goes, so 51, the 50s. I was like, bro, stop. Which I'm reading. This is not funny. But I think it was pretty good, and it was very fun seeing everybody else's monologues. And um, I had a lot of people tell me that I did a good job, so... Monologue day was hell on earth. You should be so scared. You should be quaking in your shoes. It's fine. No, it's fine. The thing is, is that everyone has amnesia on that day, so nothing you do matters. Monologue day was literally trash for me. Um, I remember calling my mom after, and I was like, it's over for me. I was just like, I'm actually so embarrassed. But nobody cared, and people were like, good job, and everybody was focused on themselves. And so many people don't remember anything from that day, and it literally did not affect anything, because I played a lost boy, and that had literally nothing to do with what I did for my mama. So, yeah, don't worry, don't stress if you're worried about it, and that's all I have to say. Wow. Good night. Woo! Good, good night, night Audrey! Woo! So monologue day seems really scary, and it also seems like it's going to be the most boring six hours of your life. I was so, like, I was scared to do my monologue, but I was more scared to watch everyone else's. Um, but it was so amazing. This is actually how Audrey and I became friends. Cherub number 44, 45. 45. We were just so in awe of, like, everyone we saw. Everyone was bringing such different material to the table, which I also didn't expect. And... I also went at like a good time. I was like the second, we were the second group, right? We were like the third. Third, yeah. We were yeah. good, like we were by like, the time we were ready to go, but it yeah. Worked. And it really wasn't that nerve wracking. Um, and everyone's just so supportive. It's cool watching everybody and the kind of like looking at everybody's, but also not remembering a single word anyone said. Feeling people's energies and like, <laughs> sussing out the vibe and then just letting that go and forgetting anything about anybody's monologue the only one i remember is the one about truman shoving uh so far up his vagina yeah yeah <laughs> my life for me was okay well i was nervous the whole day and my group went like second to last so i was like the whole day i had butterflies and then i did it and people were like laughing or whatever and i did i had this line about like shoving the shofar up <laughs> Your hideous unused vagina, whatever. So, <laughs> whatever. And, and, and George goes, I remember. Thank you. <laughs> like screamed it out at me. And then I left, and, and we were, it was after monologues. And a, a group of, I'm assuming all Jewish people, ran up to me and went, Jew? And then, because it <laughs> 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 Jew. And I was like, yes. 
Yes, yes. Honestly, I feel like those people are not the people that I know now. Like, I swear to you, but I remember on monologue day, I was like, holy shit, they're so good. Yeah, literally, everyone is so good. Like, I never have anything negative because everyone is just so good. Amazing. Room check happening at 11 p.m. <laughs> As you can see, the energy is kind of all over the place. <laughs> it's kind of all over the place. Um, so I'm just gonna take you around. Um, um, we have a we have a lot going on here. Those are the musical theater extension kids. Normally, we don't talk to them. <laughs> and that's a wrap on NHSI Cherubs 2022. We'll see you next year. Just kidding. You only do this one year. You don't get to come back and you never see any of these people again. Okay. <laughs>